Sally spent one seven of her money and an additional six dollar on a pair of slippers. So the first part of my model, I'm going to draw seven parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And she said she spent one seventh of her money and an additional six dollar. This additional six dollar do not sum up to become one unit. So I will just cut it until like that and I'll write six inside. And this part is spent on slippers. Now, next part, she spent one fifth of her remaining. So I'm going to draw a drop down box because there are no five units here. There are one, two, three, four, five, and something else. Right? So I'm going to draw a drop down box, and there are a total of five units here. This five units is inclusive of this little portion here. Alright? So what did she spend? She spent one fifth and an additional again. So I'm going to cut it. This part is equals to 8 because this 8 does not make up to become 1 unit. So this portion on a dress. And then lastly, she said she had $40 left. So which means this whole portion here is equals to $40. Am I right? How much money did she have at first? So I am finding out this entire green color portion here, the total. But before I could do that, let us take a look at this portion. This $40, if I add this $8 here, it will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 parts. So I'm going to write here 4 parts is equals to 40 plus 8 equals to 48. And so if I found out these four parts, I can find out the entire chunk here, including the dress, which is five parts, am I right? So, five parts is equals to 48 divided by 5, divided by 4, sorry, times 5, which is equals to 12 times 5 equals to 60. So now I know this entire portion is $60. And which means this portion here is equals to $60. In any point in time, if you are finding that I'm going too fast, you can pause and do some digestion of what I'm trying to say before you move on. Okay, so $60 refers to this part. And another thing happened again. Can you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 unit? If my $60 plus that $6, it would be equals to 6 unit. So 60 plus 6 equals to 66. So my 6 units equals to 66. And total, the one in green portion, how many units am I finding? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I am finding 7 units. So 7 units will be 66 divided by 6 to find 1 unit times 7. 66 divided by 6, I get 11. 11 times 7, I get 77. And that's my final answer.